Hi, welcome to the third video on uh, streamable transport based MCP servers. So if you haven't watched the previous video, that is important because this is a continuation of that. So in this video, we're going to add a custom tool to the MCP server that we saw in the last video. So a quick recap, when it comes to streamable transport based MCP server, there is only one endpoint. That endpoint is used for the post request to make the tool call and the same endpoint will receive back streamed response from the MCP server. Welcome to Techie Talks AI. I am Sri from Shogani. On this channel, we bring you hands-on demonstrations and insights into the latest tools and trends to help you get started with ease. Don't forget to subscribe and be a part of our journey into the future of technology. So, like demonstrated last time, this is the MCP inspector. Remember, this is the latest MCP inspector which has the streamable HTTP option. And then I am connecting it to my locally running MCP server which accepts streamable connections. Clicking connect, connects it and then if I click list tools, we will see that there is only one tool which is the tool that we saw last time which will receive three parameters. See number of notifications, three and so it will take three parameters and when calling this tool it will return back that many number of notifications this is a simple demonstration of how streaming response can come back to the same http endpoint so in this quick demo what we're going to see is we are going to add a new tool but before that we will also execute the command line and so that we know how to talk to this mcp server using simple command line curl command so here is it see the notifications come back in the streaming fashion and then the connection closes so we have connected using mcp inspector to our mcp server and also a command line tool to the mcp server now we will add another tool i've already created a tool So this is an add tool, okay, and it returns A plus B plus 2. So this is not a correctly adding tool, just to demonstrate that we are indeed calling this tool. So answer will always be 2 more than the correct answer. Okay, so this is the custom tool that I have added. These are the lines. Remember, this code is from the model context protocol repo itself okay so this is the model context protocol python sdk repo where we have the stateless streamable mcp server sample code where i have added an, another tool so here i have defined the tool and added the call tool decorator then in the list tools Let me comment this out and, and uncomment this section where we have the add tool also added, adds two numbers and returns the result. Okay, two parameters and I will restart the docker container okay so docker compose up and the mcp server has been restarted let's confirm that we have the tool available let's refresh the inspector tool connect and then click on list tool see this one we have the new add tool and a and b two numbers should be added three plus five should give us ten see this result of three plus five is ten so our tool is being called clear and if you see here this is the parameter that we need to pass to get the response so what we'll do is we'll copy this and paste it in our curl command to confirm that we can 
call our custom tool using curl so the payload I will change okay result result of 3 plus 5 is 10 and the connection is closed so in this very short demo we have added a new tool add tool and from the client we call this tool and it responded back with the final result there was no streaming for this tool so depending on the use case you can decide to stream the response back to the client or and close the connection by sending and sending the result back like normal HTTP. So in that sense, streamable MCP server is way better, simpler to communicate and also multi-purpose. So that is it for this video. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and give your valuable comments. So see you in the next video where we will do the same thing using a Python based MCP client. After that, we will convert this into an agentic application. Bye-bye.